Hey, 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 Virgo. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a timeless reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Virgo, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Make sure you're utilizing that link, Virgo, as there are scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order one from me, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, let's get to it. Virgo, your overall energy is the 10 of wands. You have the three of moons, which are cups, the queen of stars, which are pentacles, the king of swords, and the eight of wands. Ooh. I feel like you're, you could be overworking, okay? I don't, I'm not feeling something that's weighing heavily on you, although it could be, but I do feel that you are working a lot, okay? Not that it's a bad thing, because if you love what you do, it's not even, you know, it's not work. So the three of moons here. This could be a reunion with somebody, but this is also dating, right? The queen of stars is you focusing on your stability in the world that you're building. The king of swords. Yeah, it, this is that work again. Now, it could be an air sign that's coming in. This could be somebody from a distance, but I feel this king of swords is you. I feel that you're focusing on your world, your business specifically, your career. So let's see. Tell me about the Ten of Wands. What is this? The Magician. The Page of Swords. Wow, and the Hierophant. Somebody's watching you at work. Interesting. Taurus got the this, this same thing. So you're working hard, Virgo, and you may get a promotion. That's what I'm feeling here. You may get some sort of promotion, some sort of job offer here. You could be dealing with the Taurus, a Gemini. Hmm, mature woman. I feel like that's how they see you. Not as old, but wise. I feel that whoever's watching you work knows that you know your shit and you're very good at whatever that whatever it is that you do. They're looking at you for a specific area of expertise. That while it would be new to you, 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 you know it, you know what it is. I don't know why, but they're, they're being very specific in watching you. Okay, so tell me about this Three of Moons. This is celebration. This is dating. Aha, so we have the Ten of Moons, which is the Ten of Cups. That is emotional fulfillment. Ooh, you have the Eight of Moons, the Two of Moons, which is the Two of Cups, and the Hanged Man. Okay. So you have a soulmate coming towards you, and I feel feel it's connected to this work. I feel when you get this promotion and or leave one position to take another, whether it's with the same company or a different company, this love is coming in. And 
<laughs> it may even be during a work celebration. For some of you, you could work with this person. Mm, imprisonment. Why are you imprisoned here? Occupation. Ah. Okay. So, like I said, you could work with this person and you may not know what to do with that. You may, maybe that's new for you and you're not sure what you should do. Should you, you know, is that okay? You're all up in your head about it. About whether or not you should be dating somebody that you work with. Okay, so tell me about the Queen of Stars. If you should mix the two, right? The Queen of Swords, the Knight of Stars, whoa, the Three of Stars, there's work again. Yeah, you're very focused on work and, and getting shit done and building your world. You're very focused on the material. You are letting in love. You're allowing that in, okay? But I do feel that Ooh, thief. Somebody may... Okay, privileged lady. Okay, what I'm getting from this is somebody may be trying to steal this position from out from under you. But you have no clue you're up for this position anyway. So this isn't going to work. So there may be somebody that you work with that's trying to do this or will try to do this. But no, you're being seen as the privileged lady. So that's sort of nine of pentacles, right? Which is what you are. So that's not going to work. And you really won't even notice it. I'm not too sure why it's showing up because I don't feel it's going to even matter. All right. They're saying your energy, your energy. Okay. They're trying to give you an example of while you're maintaining this energy, this high vibe energy here, this is why it won't matter. So I feel they're reminding you to keep that vibration high, possibly because of that uh, imprisonment over here, which is Eight of Swords energy, right? Tell me about the King of Swords, Ace of Stars. There's that opportunity. Wow, the Ten of Stars. So now you have the Ten of, um, wait a minute. Now you have the Ten of Stars and the Ten of Moons. Yeah, so there's happiness. There's abundance. I wouldn't overthink this work and love thing. Three of Wands. And strength yeah so this may overwhelm you Virgo because you've got this work thing going on this love thing going on it may be happening very fast so you're going to need to tame that beast within that's what I see you doing because all that you've been waiting for and I when I say waiting for you don't even realize you've been waiting for this especially in work because I feel you're just so focused on work and doing things to perfection or, or trying to be perfect in your work that this just comes in out of nowhere and you're like oh okay right and then love follows and main female yeah you're you know who you are I want to say, Virgo, this keeps pulling me in, this Three of Cups. I want to say, if your work celebrates the position that you have with some sort of dinner, maybe it's a, a group of people that they're celebrating at a dinner, this is where that love is going to begin to come to life. All right, so tell me about this Eight of Wands. Oh, that's why. So this person may be like at another branch and may have, maybe you guys travel somewhere. I don't know, but the Eight of Wands is here. So there's some sort of distance between you. So you have the Hermit Energy clarifying the Eight of Wands. 
You have the Page of Stars and the Knight of Swords. Huh. All right, so you're really going to be looking within when this love offer comes comes in. But you're going to get messages from your higher self, from your guides, that this is the one. This is the one for you to give this person a shot. Take this opportunity, okay? Take this gift that spirit is gifting you with. Marriage. So this could actually be the one you marry. Okay, so what is your advice here? What's your advice for Virgo? Whoa. Nine of Moons, which is the Nine of Cups there. Don't stop wishing the new moon. Don't stop wishing for the new things and being excited about what you're passionate about. And this is in love in all areas of your life. In work, in love, keep that fire within you. They're wanting you to stay connected to the fire and stay connected to the desire. That rhymes. So fire and desire, okay? Because this will bring you this commitment. And I'm going to get a kippa. Yeah, you've got to make sure that you're aware whenever you're dipping your energy, okay, to shift this awareness and utilize this fire and desire to take yourself out of this. This is why they were stressing keeping your energy high over here as the Eight of Swords showed up, or, or sorry, imprisonment, which is essentially to me that Eight of Swords energy. Wow, Virgo. All right, so let's get advice for Virgos. Advice from the Oracle. Partnership. Once you have decided to walk your path in partnership, you must put the relationship first. All right, and I feel this has to do with your romantic relationship. You need to make time for this. You need to make this romantic relationship top priority okay over work here you got to make that the most important that's the message here anyway all right virgo i hope this resonates please drop a like below share and subscribe if you already haven't if you're interested in a personal reading that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs information can be found in the description box below make sure that you're utilizing that link in the description box as there are scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading if you order a personal reading from me as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on youtube don't forget to comment i want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell that way you get notified whenever i upload a video or go live. Have a fabulous day and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.